Chrysanthemums are flowering plants native to East Asia and Northeastern Europe. They come in various colors, yellow, red, fiery orange, white, and all sorts of violets. And the chrysanthemum flower was even at the center of the popular children's book of the 90s by the same name. People have used chrysanthemums in their flower beds for thousands of years, and they're now found in gardens worldwide. However, despite being sought after for its striking appearance, the chrysanthemum plant is perhaps most prized for its uncanny ability to kill insect pests. Hello, this is Everett Bug with a warning about Raid House and Garden Bug Killer, a menace to all peace-loving bugs, indoors and out. Raid hunts bugs down like radar and kills them dead. In 1956, S.C. Johnson and Son launched a now popular raid cockroach insecticide. Its primary active ingredient was, however, discovered seven years earlier. Milton S. Schechter first synthesized Raid's active ingredient, the first ever synthetic pyrethroid, Alethrin, in 1949. Pyrethroids are synthetic or artificially created versions of the naturally occurring class of compounds, pyrethrins, which are naturally found in the seed cases of chrysanthemums. Organic pyrethrin has been used for thousands of years as an insecticide and has a much longer history than its synthetic counterpart. The Chinese crushed chrysanthemum plants and used the powder as an insecticide as far back as 1000 BC. Iran used chrysanthemum powder as an insecticide for household use. French soldiers in the Napoleonic Wars used chrysanthemum flowers to keep away fleas and body lice. Today, the compounds in chrysanthemums constitute many cultural and household insecticides. Today's RAID, as well as RAID derivatives and competitors, use a variety of organic pyrethrins and synthetic pyrethroids, the most notable of which are permethrin and piperonyl butoxide. Permethrin is a synthetic pyrethroid, also used to treat scabies and lice in cream or lotion form. Permethrin is on the WHO's list of essential medicines, and in 2017, permethrin was named the 410th most commonly prescribed medication in the U.S., with more than 150,000 prescriptions. Piperonyl butoxide has no insecticidal effect on its own, yet it is often found in insecticides because it enhances the deadliness of other insecticidal compounds by helping to remove the compounds that might help to break down pyrethroid and pyrethrin-based insecticides. Lastly, alethrin, the compound specifically found in Raid Bug Spray, is also especially toxic to bees, and more horrifically, cats. More generally, pyrethroids are particularly harmful to a large number of invertebrates. As a refresher, invertebrates are animals lacking an internal bone structure, which includes insects like butterflies, bees, mosquitoes, and cockroaches, and aquatic animals such as crabs, sponges, and clams. Pyrethrin and pyrethroid-based products are highly toxic to bugs like roaches in addition to aquatic invertebrates. Pyrethroids also have similar effects on fish at large, both vertebrates and invertebrates. In fish, pyrethroids like alethrin negatively harm the nervous system, respiratory surfaces, and kidneys of fish and other aquatic invertebrates. In general, the aforementioned groups of animals are susceptible to these compounds because they cannot effectively metabolize them, meaning the compounds often remain in the organism long enough to do serious damage and or cause death. But how exactly do pyrethroids and pyrethrins function as insecticides? Well, Pyrethroids and pyrethrins are substances toxic to neurons, first and foremost. Neurons are what make up your nervous system, that giant system of wires that sends signals to and from your brain to control the rest of your body. Without these messages, there is no way for your brain to tell your arm to move, to signal to your stomach that you are hungry, or to tell your body to sweat or shiver. Therefore, it is important that the nervous system is allowed to continue to function normally, so that neurons are able to talk to each other and control the body's conscious and unconscious tasks. Bug sprays like RAID use pyrethroids and pyrethrins to disrupt 
the individual neuron cells of the nervous system. Imagine a neuron sending a message to its neighbor. It's like building a static charge by rubbing your socks against a carpet to shock a friend. After you've mildly annoyed your friend with a zap, you need to rub your feet again to build static charge. But in neurons, RAID essentially blocks your neurons from being able to produce another electrical charge. In short, pyrethroids and pyrethrins cause all neuron cells to only be capable of firing off exactly one electrical message. Considering the human brain is firing off roughly 80% of all of its neurons in any given moment, according to some estimates, you'd run out of possible electrical signals in mere seconds if RAID could bind to every inch of your nervous system. In short, every cell in the body is now cut off from every other cell, and complex biological processes quickly cease to function. In cockroaches specifically, pyrethroid exposure quickly affects the muscle and respiratory systems and results in near total paralysis and possible asphyxiation. Cockroaches and many other invertebrates cannot metabolize or break down pyrethroids and pyrethrins. This allows the compounds to perpetually disrupt the normal function of neurons. When you spray a cockroach or another bug with raid or similar insecticide, they quickly skitter away only to lie quote unquote dead on the floor minutes later. The cockroach, however, is still very much alive. The bug is instead completely paralyzed and can no longer move or function. This is where you squish it with your boot and throw the poor bug away. Regardless of one's opinion on the effectiveness of Raid as a household exterminator, it's hard to ignore its paralyzing property borders on sinister. I want to finish this video off with a note from the video's author. It reads, while researching this video, I came across the Wikipedia page for Raid insecticide, which had a section on illicit use. In July of 2019, Three people died in West Virginia after overdosing on an unnamed wasp spray, supposedly using it as a substitute for methamphetamine. I looked for more cases of illicit use of insecticides and found the case of a Mr. A, a 22-year-old Hispanic man who went to the hospital after extensive abuse of cockroach insecticide. A had been abusing pyrethroids, the active ingredient in Rage Cockroach Spray, as a substitute for methamphetamine. He would process the insecticide at home into a crystallized form for personal use. A reported receiving a high similar to the high he would get from methamphetamine, as well as frequent feelings of deja vu. A also mentioned olfactory hallucinations or phantom smells, but he could not elaborate on that. A reportedly enjoyed the increased heart rate and rush he would get from his insecticide crystals. A also reported to doctors he would sleep most of the days on days when he abused the insecticide. While doctors could not find any permanent health damage as a result of A's two months of insecticide abuse, purported possible physical effects from other cases include erratic behavior, nausea, headache, sore throat, extreme inflammation, redness of the hands and feet, auditory hallucinations, convulsions, coma, hyperglycemia, seizures, and death. A and others who used household insecticide for things other than its intended use act as cautionary tales. No matter how bad things get, please do not consume or abuse substances that are designed to kill other organisms. Raid is specifically designed to kill cockroaches, the most stubborn and unkillable animals in the animal kingdom. If something can knock dead the one organism that could survive a global nuclear event, then it's probably best to steer clear. Hey. Duck here. That's the end of this video. I hope you learned something awesome today. And as always, many thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a good one. Take care of yourself. And most importantly, drink plenty of water and be well.